Hi folks. Welcome back to my place. I thought I'd bring you kind of a public service thing here. Um, you know, I've got cats and dogs and I've had them all my life. Love animals of all kinds. But in my neighborhood, like probably a lot of you folks in your neighborhoods, uh, we've got people that raise a bunch of cats for no reason. Cats and dogs. They they feed their animals, feed the strays, and those make puppies and kittens that have no use except for making more puppies and kittens. And they get out of their yards because you can't keep, you can keep dogs in a fence, but you're not going to keep a cat in a fence. And they go out and eat the eat all the animals up and uh, the, the natural animals like quail uh, songbirds lizards everything else but then they make more and then pretty soon your neighborhood is overrun with cats and dogs with no owners they're feral they run over on the streets people poison them kill them in different ways they don't live a good life so uh, unless you're raising your cats and dogs to eat which ain't my cup of tea neither don't raise them fix your animals spay and neuter them and uh, be very careful about that look at this little little girl here unfortunately she's a young cat has already lost her tail somehow and she's got a belly full of kittens making more trouble and it's sad um, she was coming up and eating my cat's food. And, you know, so now I'm feeding two cats. I can't afford to keep, to keep feeding everybody's cats because they're not fixing their animals. Um, it's just a terrible thing. I see so many of them getting run over. Now what's going to happen is now I've got, I, uh, uh, got some live traps a few years ago. Um, just for this, I was blessed to find them at a yard sale and got several. And I've taken off several cats. I've taken off probably 15 cats in the last two years or three years. And it's just, it makes me sad. This little, little mama cat here deserves a better life. Now I'm going to take her to what, what's called a no-kill shelter. The one that we have here. They do their best to find a home for the cats and kittens, but they don't always. So in our case, uh, you know, no-kill shelters eventually turn into kill shelters, I'm afraid. Uh, I know that there probably are some true no-kill shelters, but somebody has to feed these and take care of them, and it should be the people that own them. Anyhow, I know that's a little preachy, and some of you folks may be the ones that likes to keep and feed the animals but if you're feeding these strays without taking not taking them in and uh, getting them spayed and neutered do that that's a wonderful thing if you've got animals outside that you are feeding and they're not yours catch them in a live trap take them to the vets they have many programs for sterilization of stray animals and then adopt that cat or that dog that would be a wonderful thing but don't feed them and let them make more babies and think it's an awesome thing. It's not. Anyhow, some things need to be preached about. And uh, I'm glad that uh, you're watching my videos. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. I wanted to make a little second uh, video to go along with this. Now, this is the little female that I trapped earlier. Um, and she's still in the cage, she's waiting for her trip to the shelter tomorrow. But this is really a bigger problem. Uh, we've got others that we have caught. That cage used to have the, this one in here. Right here. We've got another mama, another mama with uh, uh, two of her kittens, and another one of her kittens is still on the loose, but we'll catch him pretty soon. And again, it's just sad. Um, and, and the thing is, these cats uh, are unvaccinated. The people that are feeding them 
because they're strays, they're giving them food, they're making more babies, and none of these animals are vaccinated. People get bit, maybe they have rabies or distemper, uh, and it helps spread feline leukemia and the other uh, uh, newly discovered uh, diseases that are affecting our cats. So it's a, it's a very big thing. If you love your animals, uh, don't let them do this. Don't do this to them because somebody that loves cats has done this to these animals and we're trying to take care of them and do what's best. So uh, I know that, that most of you viewers are very responsible people and a lot of you probably have to deal with this yourself. So I'm not preaching to you, but um, hopefully somebody out there sees this and think about, you know, not not doing this to their animals. Thank you for watching my videos.